Hi, I'm Charles Ellison, Civil 3D designer and trainer at AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com. Today, we'll be exploring the application menu in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2020. Civil 3D is a vertical application, meaning it's built upon several Autodesk applications. We'll cover ways of sharing our Civil 3D drawings with others that might not have this application something that's very important to any organization involved on a project. Now AutoCAD Civil 3D is known as a vertical application because it's actually built upon several applications. Civil 3D is built upon AutoCAD Map and AutoCAD Map is built upon the AutoCAD application. Now there are vertical tools within each application so Civil 3D has the capabilities of all three applications. Now when you open the program you'll see the interface is very similar in all three applications. In Civil 3D you'll notice a startup page that provides a list of open drawings and software notifications. We can also start a new drawing or open an existing one. For right now we're going to focus on the application menu. It's often referred to as the Big C. When we click on it, it'll provide us with a list of tools that are application specific, such as New, Open, Drawing Convert, Drawing Compare, and Recover. Now if we go to an open drawing, the Applications menu reveals even more tools and functions that are available. Now since Civil 3D contains objects that are specific to Civil 3D, those objects might not be able to be viewed or shared properly with companies or individuals who do not have this application. Now there is an eTransmit button. If we go under Publish, click on eTransmit, go ahead and save the drawing. Now when we look up at the top we have this files tree and underneath we have everything that's included within this particular file such as XREFs, linked image files, and color table files and plot settings that are included in, into a single folder. Now all of this information can be exploded and then zipped into a separate working folder that can be shipped off to a company or individual that doesn't have Civil 3D. So that makes it very, very important. Now go ahead and click Transmittal Setups and we have the option to create a new one but for right now let's go ahead and modify the standard and in this dialog box we can control how this transmittal package is set up now common practice is to keep everything within a zip folder but right here we can change all of this information now drawings can be saved back to earlier versions of AutoCAD which you can see right here and you can also pick an option to have an earlier version of AutoCAD with exploded Civil 3D objects. Now we also have the option to purge our drawings and that kind of cleans up our drawings so they aren't so large. Now eTransmit is a very powerful tool in the applications menu. Now let's continue our look around the user interface. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks visit AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.